Hello, and welcome to yet another new series from me. In case you couldn't tell, it is FTL, Faster Than Light. I have never played this game and my exposure to it is minimal, so I have here with me... I'm CK Leviathan, uh, I have time spent in this game. <laughs> Neither of us is very good. There is no good. Exactly. There's only better than bad. So we're going to be taking this in turns, and I guess I'm going first, that way I don't cheat and learn from you. That is exactly why. Cheater. So, let, let's jump right into this. I have no idea what's going to happen, really. Alright, so that's the only ship you could choose from right now. Apparently. Um, you could customize your little crew people. Ooh, I get to customize them, that's right. Yeah. Um, you are not Julian Raffin, you are now... What are you now? Well, I will leave the first names up to you. Let's see, what, what, what's Julian Raffin gonna be? You are gonna be... Bob. You are not gonna be Joel. You are going to be... Hmm... You're gonna be Cora. I always name them after people that I wouldn't want to lose. That makes their death even much more tragic. Well, then I should name it after someone I do want to die. Okay, you could go that way with it. Let's see. Wait. You're Batman. <laughs> Again, that's one way to go about it. <laughs> so I've got Bob Cora and Batman. Now... Over here, uh -huh. it, you can either enable or disable the Advanced Edition. Probably for your first time, disabled would be better. Okay. Because that way you don't get into something that will kill you instantly. Okay. Is there anything else I need to know about this? Uh, you can rename your ship. <gasps> I can rename the ship. I can rename the ship. This is going to be the mighty... I already have a name. Um... The mighty... I haven't thought of anything beyond that. The mighty sandal? Sure! Mighty Santa, because I can't fit the L. Okay. That sounds good to me. Uh, where'd my cursor just go? Oh, there we go. Off the screen. <laughs> I hadn't hit enter. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna leave it on normal, meaning I'm gonna die. Uh, yeah. Let's put it this way. The two times I've beaten it was on easy. So I should put it to easy. If you want to do anything. Okay, then it's gonna be on easy. On! Oh. Okay. So, just, just a quick thing. This is... Uh, okay. Hit start because your first screen's not going to do anything. Okay, you won't fine. go anywhere. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, but to make sure the sector. Tips. Sensors. If the ship goes dark, don't panic. Just fix the sensors subsystem. You're probably going to be running around fixing a lot of things. Okay. okay. So, up front, you have your piloting. Piloting. You have to have a pilot to go anywhere. Okay, so Bob's piloting. This the is doors, doors. That's which medic. Controls the doors. The medic. You have your shield station, that's, which is that's the sensors. That's sensors. That's, that's shield. That's the shield. I'm that's, guessing this is gun or weapon. That's the weapon system. Okay, so Batman's on weapons. That's good. Batman can't kill people. Too bad. Batman's gonna be killing people. Um, that's your engine. Again, you have to have somebody there for your ship to charge its FTL. Okay. And okay. that's... Of course, don't quote me on that one. That's um, oxygen, that's right? That's oxygen. You are going to need that. Now... People need oxygen? In the advanced edition, there's an alien race that doesn't. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Uh, click on a person. Batman! Batman. Tell him to go to the shield room for right now. Batman! Other one. Batman, go to the shield room. That is how you move people. You... It's hard to explain. 
uh, right click, left click, without actually having it, because I know. Okay, so in right my click head, moves people at right, least. Right click moves people. You know, personally, I keep. Left click people. opens the doors. Yes, it does, <laughs> and that's important because if you get a fire, you need to open the door in order to get the fire out. The easiest way, unless you have rock people, is to open the doors and vent the oxygen. Yes, there's rock people. I don't doubt there are like mantis people, aren't there? There are mantis people, there's robot people, uh, there's slug people. That's so fun. There's rock people, there's crystal people. Um, okay. There's beings made of energy, which Ooh. are actually quite neat in what they do, but you don't have one of those yet. Okay, well anyway. Anyway. Working with what I do have, I appear to have three humans named Bob Cora and Batman. Yes, you do. <laughs> they will sing your eulogy in just a few minutes. Anyway. So, to upgrade things on the ship, you need spare parts. Uh -huh. Which right now you have 30. Woo! Uh, and to do that, you click on ship. I don't do anything right now. If I would. Shields, engines, med bay, oxygen, weapon control, piloting sensors, door. Now, and... the pilot, the subsystems don't require power. Okay. When you upgrade them, they're just, they're upgraded. <laughs> Everything else requires power. And, and that's what this is. And that's what the power bars are. So, to get more power, you have to do it that way. Okay. Shielding is the only one that upgrades in sets of two. Mm -hmm. Meaning you have to upgrade twice before you can actually do the next level. Okay. Um, crew equipment, I'm assuming I can't really do anything here. Not really. Okay. Um, the crew, you can rename your crew if you get a new guy and you want to name him something new. Okay. Um, or you're tired of Batman. Why would I be tired of Batman? He's Batman! Uh, right now you have... 16 fuel, uh -huh. 8 rockets, and 2 drone parts, which Ooh. you don't have any use for the drone parts right now as you don't have any drone control. Anyway. Anyway, let's go to weapons real quick. Uh, well, weapons. You can turn them on okay. automatically so that they start charging, charging the uh -huh. minute you jump in. Okay. So. Do I want to turn them on? It would be helpful to not die right away. Okay. Then they're on. And you can set it to auto fire, which means you basically just put it on a point and Ooh. it keeps firing there. Or you can individually each time tell it where to target. I'm going to leave it on auto fire for now. That's what I always do. <laughs> I don't trust myself to be able to kill things properly. Anyway. Anyway, as far as that goes, you're ready. Um, missiles, which you have a missile system, uh -huh. uses a missile. Uh -huh. And generally they pierce one shield. Okay. Lasers bring down a shield, and you have to hit a shield enough to get through it, to get through all the shields before you can damage the ship. Okay. So, other than that, you're good to go for right now. Okay, so, jumping. Uh, let's see, you here's the exit. Go to one of two places. You can go there. There's a distress signal coming from there. Someone might need help. Someone might need help. Do I want to be a dick and leave them, or do I want to go help them? Usually the distress, if it's good, grants you better stuff than just the random jumps. And if it's bad, I get attacked. Well, you can get attacked at the random yeah, jumps. That's true. It's just... I'm going to go investigate the distress then. Okay. Let's go help people, maybe. Hi, I'm here to help. <laughs> Your company lights up with a warning signal as you are being targeted by a nearby ship and a straight call was alerted to attack them when you ships into weapons range as you prepare for a fight. Of course I do! So, one and two right now control mm -hmm. your weapons, or you can just click on them. Okay, so, so uh... Pressing one, go to the other ship. Uh-huh. Best place would be to target their shields and their weapons. Okay. At least uh -huh. for this ship. Oh, <laughs> well that was easy. Alright, you win! Here's some equipment from our stores! Leave us alone! Well, you can either accept their offer, which gives you... Seven missiles! Seven more missiles and five <laughs> fuel and only eleven parts. Or you could not accept their surrender and blow them up and have a chance of getting worse than that. 
Because you will not get seven missiles if you blow them up. I want seven missiles. And accept the offer. Sure, I'll take your shit. Now get out of here, crab people. No, now you have to jump. Oh. And those are mantis. Those aren't crab people. They're not like crab people. They're what kind of crab like anyway. Let's go this way. Uh, hello. Well, you can either attempt to download the ship's data stores. Don't risk it. Or don't risk activating and just strip the ship for any useful scrap. If I attempt to download shit, are people going to suddenly attack me? It's possible. I I'll just strip the... Strip that. I'll just do this one. Alright. Yeah, that's fair. Now don't forget, if you want to, upgrade ship systems. Oh yeah, that's right. You know. Um, upgrading lets you power more weapons, increases the rate of refill. Oh. Who, who needs oxygen? Yeah, who needs to breathe? Let's see. Personally, what I focus on usually is shields, weapons, and the subsystems. Okay. Let's do more shields. That was the engine. That was the end. Okay, screw that. Uh, Undo. The other, ah! Yeah. I are smart. Uh, let's just do that. Right. So right now, like I said, shielding takes two, and then you have to get the power bars for it before okay. you can get another set of shields. Well, I'll work on. Well, let's see. I'll do another power bar. There we go. Right. Ready, set, dun dun dun. Yeah, that's the Rebels. And yeah, Of course, I know. there's a store right after you use your... Of course. So I would go to the this other one? beacon before going to the store in the off chance that maybe you can get some more scrap. Okay, let's go there. Point! <laughs>